Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial on. Oh, so I was able to. I was trying to figure out how I could load a build in Unity, like during, like maybe after a, like the last scene, instead of because my fo my project folder is seriously gigantic, and I want to update a few things, which will break all my other things. So I was hoping to try to load up a new build after the last scene in my current one, so then it would just kind of load up and then it would be a whole new project without it being an actual scene change. It would be actual, like, you're uh, loading up an EXE file, basically. And I figured out a way how to do it for virtual reality, and this will probably work in any type of game. Um, I do use blocks. It is a visual scripting. However, it is basically C sharp, and you can easily do this with C sharp. Um, but I, I, I am using blocks, so unfortunately that's what I'm doing here, but you can still watch and you, you could probably figure out how to do it in C sharp, especially if you know how to do, use C sharp. So first I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, I just created a quick scene. Uh, it says like build number one, build number, so two different builds, build number one, build number two. So right now we're on build number one, as you're not, I'm sorry, we're on build number two right now. And over here, um, and this is my code, so I can make this a little bit bigger. I'll just do that. So this is my code. So this is my block. So I just created a new game object. And um, over here, I have a local, well, it's just a variable, and I call it app folder, and it's a string. And over here on start, I'm going to be setting that variable to application.datapath. So it's basically where the data path is that this program or this um, app is in. So it's going to automatically put that here. And then on update is just for a test, but you would basically put this anywhere you want after a certain trigger point or anything, which I'll be adding it at the very end of my last scene, it will just trigger it and then it will load up this new build. So right now just as a you know a test, I have it on update and then I have it for virtual reality. I'm just doing if controller, the trigger on the five controllers pressed um, it's going to do process.start file name, which is that folder, and that's the variable. So it's grabbing this string, and then it's going to be adding this at the end of it. So that's basically build number one. Um, I'm trying to go back and forth from build number two to build number one and back and forth, but it's not working that way. But this still gives you a really good idea. You can't go back to the last build, I guess. At least I can't figure it out. However, you can go from build one to two. Um, so basically, uh, let me just open my other scene here. I'm just going to open scene number one. It's the exact same thing. Um, so basically we have on start and then on update, it's just um, build number two. So it's going to load build number two. And then I also have it set so it, it closes this um, it closes this one because the other one's going to be open. Otherwise, you'll have two running. Obviously, if it's a big game, it's going to slow down your computer and your frames per second may drop. So um, it's going to quit out, quit out of this one, and the other one is going to load up. Um, so if you, if we test it, just so you can see how it works, um, it, I can't do it. I don't like doing it in the editor just because it loads up a completely different app folder here, since it's obviously in the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and I'm going to show you what I have here because you. Oh, oh. and of course I'm going to make issues. Oh, for the love. Okay, so this bigger. So here's where my folder is right here. So here's build one, or build one, and then the build one data folder, build two, and the build two data folder. So then what you have to do is you have to go into the build one data folder first, and you have to copy and paste your build two data and exe file, and you have to paste it into this folder. So you're pasting build number two, you're copying that over into build number one data folder and you're pasting it. So now you see build number two at the build number two data and then the exe because uh, what it's doing is it's going to be finding, it's going to be going inside of this folder and it's going to be searching for this right here. And that's how it's going to load it up. So, so you can see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and start at build number one, the actual exe. And let me go ahead and do another screen capture so you can see. So here's build number one. 
I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. You can ignore the console error messages. That's just not important. So now, um, okay, so then if I, I'm not actually going to put it on, but here you see, this is build number one. And now if I hit the trigger button on my controller, I don't know which one it is. I guess this one. Oh, okay. probably should turn on the controller first. Okay, so I hit trigger. Now it's uh, kicking me out of that one. Now it's going to be loading up the next one. So let me quickly do another screen capture of the current one that it just loaded up. So now it just loaded up this one. So if you look, it loaded up build number two. And it didn't take long at all. It's really fast. And all you, when you're in the vibe, all you're going to see is like, um, it just kind of does that loading screen type of thing. Uh, and that's it. That's all you need to do. And I think it's really neat because now I don't have to update all, I don't have to go through my old one and ugh, keep adding to the folder and it's getting huge, just taking up a ton of space because it has a ton of stuff in it that I don't use, that I use some of it, and I don't know, it's just a big pain in the butt. So that's it. And um, if you have any other questions or concerns, well, not concerns, but if you have any questions, you know, you can leave some comments, but I think this might be helpful and useful for those of you who want to do it this way, because I think it's kind of neat to have a nice fresh project. And if you need to save it on a different hard drive, if you're running out of space, that might help you as well. Um, so you can, and you can keep doing that too. I believe I haven't checked multiple, because I know it won't let me go back, but now would it let me go to like maybe another number three, number four? How many builds can you keep pushing out? Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but this, at least it's for the two builds. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.